So one of the things that's interesting about the hand is that I believe there's a subgyro to match off the pelvis through the wrist. So in other words, not only can the hand go up and down and have pretty standard reflex patterns, but the wrist can, depending on how it's organized, but a wrist can and should be able to rotate in any direction and then continue that rotation based off the main system which is the pelvis. So as the pelvis shifts so can the wrist to, to counter. These are very subtle in the system but they're very important and you really see it here. I recorded a bunch of little piano recitals that um, my son was recently at and if you look at a very um, beginner and I should say immature but not immature in a bad way but the, the, the hand to play the piano is kind of a dump, dump, dump because they're learning more so where the keys are and where the hand is in space in relationship to where the hand is into relationship with the body and the piano itself. But as you start to see people develop, you'll start to see the wrist action going off more now to the side. And that's what gets you into the higher octaves. Can the wrist rotate to get from a high C to a low C, let's say, or, or working on a chord. A very mature hand now will start to do the whole rotation, so when they do scales, you'll actually see that rotation going around and around and around and around to get the rotation. A hand that still can't do it will do the scale, let's say, and now the hand is stuck and literally they have to bring the pinky back in to do and just that timing throws off the timing of the piece and the way that the person can perform it. So uh, the difference between a high class pianist, which I, I don't have the hand moves for at the moment, these are, again were just all kids from uh, grade school to maybe pre-high school, but you can see how the wrists will start to mature in relationship with the body and you can still be a decent pianist if the wrist isn't as flowing as I'd like it to be or at least like I said be in that gyro position if the waist and the um, pelvis is making up for the difference so it's a, a tad mathematical that way however that person won't go into a an extreme elite playing of piano um, until the wrist is able to go to that position obviously the fingers work off of that but you can see where you have extension and uh, rotation through the system, through the hand, to play a piece at a higher optimization than you would just going bang, bang, bang if the wrist was um, inoperable or doesn't know how to rotate yet, work off that uh, sophisticated gyro pattern.